Rehearsal started in September 1982, and our first pantomime performed in January 1983. I invite you now to join us on our journey starting in 1983 and finishing in this millennium year. Do you also remember, in 1983, US of A troops invaded Granada and Michael Jackson released his thriller album? The players performed Red Hot Singers. And here to refresh your memory is Bob Gale and Phil Bonner to sing Sisters. <laughs>
they flap their fins to express emotion. A fine romance with no quarrels, with no insults at all. Morals, I never get to bust the crease in your blue such pants. <laughs> I am the first a chance. <laughs> this is a fine romance.
dating agency man. When are you going to get my daughter's wet? Hey, you are the wicked stepmother, eh? And you, you are the audience. We are. I do not know the word in English. Rubbish! Rubbish, that is the word. <laughs> However, if we do not get the best applause of the night, we're going to sing it at once. <laughs>
I came to Alden as rector with a very new pastor, various trees in his body. One of them was to have a family service which anyone could come to without having any idea about what to do in church and what service was like. And we got that. It happens the first Sunday in every month at 9.30 and you're all welcome any time. The other things that I wanted to do was to free the congregation from the burden of the upkeep of this old building. So I founded a thing called the Friends, and the trustees have been working hard ever since, and the Friends funds largely keep this church in good order now. And the players over the years have boosted their funds, boosted the funds of the Friends from the proceeds of various pantomimes. And the other thing that Pat reminded us that I wanted to do was to bring church and village together in a, a humorous way. And so I said to Pat, after one service, I'd like to do a parish pantomime, Pat. And she said, well, come and have coffee at my house, which was in Harrogate's there, on Wednesday or Thursday this week. Well, I went round and I found there was Pat, her late husband, John, and Norma Elliot, and an hour later, the Malden Parish players, the St Mary's Parish players, were born. Norma and John wrote the first script. Pat produced or directed. I will get mixed up with you, and I played a part which you'll have a clue about in a few minutes. And so I think it's very appropriate that this Millennium concert which has been organised by the Northern Millennium Committee, takes place in this church where the players were born. The congregation of this church formed the bulk of the players in those early days. And we have some of them among us who've come from afar to be with us. Rachel and Paul Waller, who travelled a good distance to be with us. Rachel Allen, who's come from the South Coast, to be with us again. And we thank you for coming. But I'd like to pay tribute to all of them, because these folk have been up here rehearsing and practicing regularly for weeks to provide this entertainment for us tonight. And I'd like to thank them all, and I ask you to give them a hand.
How may I serve you, little master? Take me to the cave where there are witches galore. Then find the glass slipper for this girl from this door. No sooner said than done, my master. Alakazam!
scraping feet and little tiny feet. <laughs>
And I fear that Fairy Snowdrop is wanted now. Oh. No one loves a fairy when she's forty. Oh, just a minute.
We now continue in our theme and bring you songs from pantomimes 1992 to the year 2000. 1992 and 93 saw the development of the single European market, William Priest were ordained, and Bill Clinton became president of the US of A. The players pantomimes were Sinbad and Santa in Space, and the players will sing We Are Sailing from Sinbad, and from Santa in Space, We All Stand Together, sung by Pam Dags and the company.
someday I will go with that. Oh.
century, new beginnings, the millennium go. The London Eye and the fireworks. We chose to revisit Jack and the Beanstalk, and the players will sing from that pantomime, Hens from Heaven. And we will then finish with our finale song, most appropriately named A Whole New World. And just before you go, please, those of you who brought glasses in, can you please put them at the table at the back of the church, please? Thank you very much for your support, and hopefully we'll see you in the future. Good night.
just on my way back to Atland to uh, get presents for the children for Christmas, but I couldn't uh, leave without uh, saying a few thanks to a few people. Um, first of all, we'd like to thank David Newthwaite and the church members for allowing us to use the church. I think it's been tremendous. Um, then uh, we'd also like to thank a special thanks from the players to Michael Richardson. Michael was attending um, <laughs> Michael was attended every single rehearsal for uh, the tear copy and I hope you enjoyed the show from the audience tonight Michael. Then uh, can't read it. Then I asked for the lighting, I knew it was the lighting next. <laughs> anyway, the lighting also has been uh, quite difficult to organise, but uh, I'm sure we agree the lads have done a great, uh, a great job. So thanks to the lighting team. <laughs> then uh, with the number of songs that uh, obviously the players have had to, uh, to sing tonight has taken a tremendous amount of organisation. So we'd like to just take, uh, ask Tracy Canavan Smith just to take a bow, please. Yeah. Um, in the background as well, there's been, uh, been a support. We've actually called her during this performance Alison, Alison's mom. But actually, it's obviously Pat Brothers who's helped with the production. So thanks a lot for that. Special thanks to three, three people. First of all, obviously, the musical direction has taken a tremendous amount of work, and uh, I really think that Ron has done a great job. Thank you. Thank you.